Yes, I did the laundry. Yes, I had breakfast today. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Yeah, love you too. Okay, bye. That was my mom. Sorry. <sighs> oh, hey. How's it going? I'm Alex. Thanks for clicking. And welcome to this lesson on expressions with have. So have is one of the most common verbs in the English language. And I know most of you know, you know, that you can use it for possession, but there are also a ton of other things and a ton of other expressions that we use with this verb. So today I will look at some of these expressions. First, let's say he has, he had, he will have, we have the present, the past, the future, I have, I will have, I had, and like I said, possession. Here, he has a car. He had a PS4. He has a son, or he will have a son if his wife or his girlfriend is pregnant, for example. So here we have possession, something that belongs to you or is yours, or if you have a family member, like I have two sisters, three brothers, etc. This is similar in most languages. Next, I have uh, a headache, or I have uh, a backache, or I'm not gonna say this, so I'll say he has cancer. So if you are talking about a pain or an illness or a disease, you can also use the verb have. So I have a headache, I have a backache, I have an earache, and uh, a wide variety of pains that you have, you know, on your body. And here are some other ones that, you know, common expressions we have. You can say, teacher, teacher, I have a question. So you can have a question. The teacher will hopefully have an answer. I have an idea. You can have a question. You can have an idea. I have something to say. You can have something to say. So all of these, what you'll notice is they are all in a simple tense and they can also be used in the perfect tenses. But there are some expressions that you can use in the simple tenses and you can use in the perfect tenses, but you can also use them in the continuous tenses. So for example, possessives, most of you probably know, you cannot say, I am having a car. You can only say, I have a car. That's it. All right. Next, let's look at some where you can use the continuous tenses, past continuous, present continuous, future continuous, or the simple or perfect tenses. So you can say, I have, or I am having breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So when you are talking about meals that you eat during times of the day, use have. And you can say, I'm having lunch now. I'm having breakfast now. I'm going to have dinner with my mom. I'm going to have dinner with my mom later. It's true. All right. You can use this for drinks. Like, I have coffee every morning. Okay? Or, hey, what are you drinking? Uh, I'm having juice. Or what would you like? Mm, I will have water, okay? Or beer, like I'm having a beer. You can have a beer, drink a beer. And next, food in general, a sandwich, pizza, a bowl of cereal, anything you can eat. You can say, I'm having pizza for lunch today. Or I had pizza for lunch. Or I'm gonna have a sandwich later. Okay, so meals, drinks, food, all can use the verb have. And I know some of this is repetition from my eating vocabulary video, so you can check that out too for more information like this. All right, next, some other common things, common expressions with the verb have. You can say, I have a problem or I'm having a problem. So imagine that you know, I record, I make videos, this thing isn't working, I'm having a problem with my video camera. 
and you can have a great time doing something like, oh, I'm having a great time making this movie that we're doing today. So let me put this away. A little noise in the background for you guys makes it more real. And you can say, I'm having a great time. If you are at a party, for example, if you are taking a course and people ask you, how are you doing? Are you enjoying it? You can say, it's really difficult. I'm having a hard time understanding my teacher or I'm having a hard time remembering the information or the material. So hopefully you're having a great time watching this video. And next, you can have a good day or have a bad day. And again, you can use the continuous tenses to talk about this. How is your day going? I am having an amazing day. How is your day going? I'm having a terrible day. I'm having a great day. Why am I doing fake, you know, telephones when I have a real phone? I am having a great day, right? You could do that. So you can also have a bath or have a shower. I put a star there. Why? What is another verb that we can commonly use with baths and showers? Take. That's right. You can take a bath, take a shower, or have a bath, have a shower. Uh, so you can say, I'm having a shower. If someone's knocking on your bathroom door. And to finish up, you can have a conversation. So I was having a conversation with my mom on the phone at the start of this video. Now, some other ways that you can say I am having a conversation is I'm having a chat. I'm having a talk. I'm having a word with my mom. Okay. So you can say, yeah, I'm going to have a chat with her. I'm going to have a talk with her. I'm going to have a word. Or if your boss ever tells you, I need to have a word with you. Oh no, my boss needs to have a word with me. That's a scary situation. So you can also use about, right? You can have a conversation about something, have a chat about something, or have a word or a talk about something. And finally, you can have a look at something or have a look at someone. So let's see, what can I get here? There's like all these magical things off screen. I don't know what I want to show you. Let's use this. Have a look at this. Isn't this cool? I love it. It's a car, has four wheels like all cars do, and it's made of wood. Have a look at that. All right, so if you want someone to take a look or look at something, you can say, here, have a look. Or if you're surfing online and you're looking for, you know, what expressions can I use with the word have in English? You can say, here, have a look at this video. All right, guys. If you want to test your understanding of this material, as always, you can check out the quiz on engvid.com. And if you like the video, as always, comment on it, like it, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to check me out on Facebook and Twitter. Till next time, thanks for clicking.